Ward definitely has me getting to him. But, uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting because Ward <laughs> is super good at the snake matchup with Sheik. He is, he is. Uh, shout outs to Heavy. Heavy West Coast. Like Heavy is another one of those super secret hidden bosses that just never really had that coming out to tournaments. But you know where he is, though? Up, Void Stream. Void Stream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Void and Heavy grind this matchup all the time. It's why Void was able to destroy uh, that one snake player at main stage. And yet, I will say this. You may know the heavy matchup, but do you know the yeah, AC matchup? Yeah, AC is crazy. All right? a I'm not AC gonna... is somebody who has definitely... He's got he's got the big brains. He does. AC has a mindset as a snake player. I, that, you know what's funny? He got nerfed. They didn't nerf snake. They, that's the funny thing. They nerfed AC in Smash 4 because they took away a character he loved. Then they brought the character back. And now AC is back. Yeah. So now, now AC gets to do all the tricks of the trade, everything he knows with his character. Yeah, very good Brawl Snake, by the way, yes. uh, AC. But, um, yeah, I really want to see this. Void has a lot of experience in this matchup, but AC has his own tricks. And I, I'm a Snake player, too, so I know a lot about what Snake goes for. So I really want to see what AC is going to pull under his sleeve to keep this crazy run he's been on going versus Void, too. Yeah. Also, big shout-outs to Void, too, because we have been seeing him play GG Strive. He's also played Dragon Ball Fighters in the past. Uh, Void, Void is good at games. That's he is. What I'm gonna he's, say. he's ridiculous. He's amazing Valorant. at Valorant. He's, he's been playing that Valorant. I've been seeing his streams, man. Him and uh, Lames. Shout really to good Eon, Yeah, way. man. Eon, dude. Uh, that I kid, was surprised he did he so was good almost today. A, he was almost radiant in Valorant. Yeah. Eon, dude. I told him you can make it happen. He told me I'm going to try, dude. So close. And then he came to this tournament not even practicing us <laughs> going crazy in the bracket, beating all these players. Anyway, best of five. Yes, Void best of five versus here. AC. Let's see if we see a stage other than PS2 this set. We probably will not. <laughs> it would be great, though. I need that Northern Cave. Oh, that please, please, man. We may have to go for the music. The, the music is beautiful, but not only that, the stage has anyway, a really nice Anyway, the here. match, the match. Crazy things are happening. Void just nared him into a grenade and comboed off of it. <laughs> Oh, okay, Boy was looking for the drag down up air on the platform. Pretty consistent with uh, that combo on this stage. Mm -hmm. uh, I think what's going to happen here is Boy's not going to have trouble comboing Snake, but if he takes any risky trade, oh, that was it, almost. Tech chase, nice for, tech roll in. For AC, it's oh. not only being able to Ooh. have those setups that we see here, but also being able to trap Void, not only where he might be going, but where he might land. And that's what AC is a purveyor of. Gets this back in here. 117 sets up. He knows what he's going for. He's looking to see where Void might try to land and punish accordingly. Doesn't and get the punish, but sneaks in the back air. Snake going low, and Void doesn't care about the grenade setup at all. Just, just back him off the stage. 130 is kill percent, though. Let's see if AC can get that hit he needs, or is he going to keep getting comboed? Void is actually hitting him while also avoiding the grenades. That's one thing he's really good at doing in this matchup. Probably from uh, fighting heavy so much. <laughs> he knows how to like hit Snake without trading a lot of times. And a lot of people who fight Snake complain about that because yeah. they're like, frame one grenade, like it's not fair, I can't combo. But <laughs> Void is, uh, you're one of those people actually, that's you. I hate, I hate the fact that you main Snake. <laughs> that is my, that is the only thing in our friendship that I hate about you, Stride. <laughs> Is you main Snake. He's cool. I mean, have you ever played Metal Gear Solid 3? I love Metal Gear Solid, but I hate Snake in this game. I love Snake, but I hate playing against them. But yeah, I still love you as my friend. <laughs> Anyways. And I love these bouncing fishes from Void. Drop yes, down, yes. up air, almost got the combo to work. AC fishing for the force smash. I don't blame him. It probably would have killed Sheik. She's lighter than a feather. Oh. Okay, Void's looking for the down tilt here, but oh. anti your up tilt. 85 is kind of scary. Sneaks in the last hit in there. Can you get this ledge trap though? Oh, dare out of shield. Oh, what a punish there too. Not giving Void any space of the, of the stage. A lot of up smashes set, but you can see where AC wants to be. He knows how Void might try to land. Okay. There's a C4 at the ledge as well. There's a lot of things to avoid here. Now look at that. I like that. Come back to center stage, right? That's what's important here. Stop Void from getting any control. Yeah, AC is in control. Oh, the vanish, but it's Snake. We're living. He's going high. He got this, the Nikita stall too. Oh. oh! And Boy, you thought and you thought you were gonna be up there for free? I saw the Nikita coming down, but I thought Void might have saw it as well. I didn't think it would hit nor kill. But now AC has what he wants—a stock lead and then the ability to potentially trade. Great tech. Oh, big bouncing fish! Not gonna kill though. 
All the right. beautiful thing about this matchup, man, is just such a big test for AC. You're going up against one player who has textbook studied this matchup with one of the best Ooh, players in that Zogar, and you can see that punishment that Void knows what to do. Not bouncing vicious. I've seen him do it so many times, but it looks so nice every time. <laughs> It is true, world. Void Sheik is back, man, and it's back in full force here. AC is definitely keeping it close, though. Uh, honestly, Void has to really keep him in, uh, pressured and keep himself on his toes because any time where he has an opening, AC is going to take it and just continue to build on this safe lead he's built up for himself. Oh, big up there. Look for the landing. There's a C4, too, yes. on the platform. Void sees it, so he's going to try to pitch some needles. No combo. He really can't afford to drop combos in this situation. I think Void might be thinking of just camping with the needles until he finds an opening. And I think he should. You have to wait out. Sometimes it sounds so counterintuitive because there's so much they can pull out against you that when you camp Sheik out, now it's on the other foot. It's like, all right, cool, hold on. I can actually kind of wait out Sheik a little bit. And the Sheik is waiting for you, man. She's got needles. Yep. Oh, very scary. AC still playing very safe. He really only needs one good hit. But Boys is playing so slippery right now. All one right. little high. What's the projectile set up here? He has the Nikita. Nice. I like that. Okay. Oh, the Nair anti-air. Oh, he's living though. Excellent. There's the C4s on the ledge though. Oh, he sees the opening, dude. He forced this man to choose a neutral getup. He saw that. You want to hang out at the ledge? That's what Boys has been doing. Dude, he had to worry about the up smash falling on top of him. So if you try to jump, he might get hit by the up smash, right? So you have to like try to time a neutral get up maybe to mm -hmm. avoid getting hit by the up smash from jumping, but then the C4 is right there. Yeah. Yeah. And AC definitely had a lot of options covered. And that's why he's taking game one against Void. Yeah. And, and that's what I'm saying. A, like, he's, it's a beautiful test for AC because we get to see all the crazy things AC works on. And that's, it's, it's, it's honestly the best. It's the best of both players, right? Void knows this matchup, like I said. Textbook studied this against one of the best players in SoCal. Heavy, he's one of the secret bosses of all secret bosses. AC, he knows what it's like to fight up against players of this caliber. Man, he won an Arcadian at the time when nobody knew who he was, and he became one of the best players out there in the world. He became PGR. That is true. AC is a former PGR Smash 4 player. But we're getting Meta Crystal Final Destination. Void actually loves when people leave this stage open versus him. Very many people do. He uh, really loves this stage because he can really mix up aggressive and defensive because of the amount of space on the stage. Say like, oh, hold on. AC's gonna go high here. Oh, big downer from Void. Okay, doesn't get the tipper down tilt, so he can't get a big combo, but does get the throw with the grenade explosion as well. He's gonna go high again. Nice, needles, but the grenade actually helping AC a little bit, but the parry. Into the down smash, Void is not letting him land for free at all. That's a really big first stock for Sheik. Only at 39% versus Snake. Opportunity for the combo here at the ledge. Void reads the ledge, roll, avoids all the grenades, does not care. Continuing the combo. Okay, down empty, throw. Yeah, that's good for AC here. He sees an opportunity, takes it, goes for the empty hop. No confirm there, but AC has a lot to catch up here. That's what's going to make things a little bit difficult here. Snake is a slow burn to catch up. He does have those big combo percents here, but with no platforms. Ooh, there. there it is, though. AC will still manage to find one. <laughs> I eat my words for my lunch. Dinner, in this case. That was sick. Sheik is so light, so Snake is a bit confirmed like that. That's all he needs to bring the game back. 60 isn't even that hard for him to come back. It's just the nature of the trades. Gotta say, I'm loving AC's use of the uh, air to air, uh, neutral air. He's yeah. gonna catch Void, maybe going for a forward mm -hmm. himself, and then he just get caught by that snake nair. Challenge, challenge him right where he, where he Ooh, least it. Ooh, but there's that nair. Something that Void says a lot is that it's funny to him that people don't talk about Sheik's ability to do the same thing as Fox. Nair into tech chase, smash attack. Down smash or forward smash. It's like a very similar timing and setup. Oh, narrowly missing oh. that that confirm there from okay, AC. Dr. stage. Boys, the Nikita on stage here. Oh, that's good, too. Yeah. He sets up that C4 right in center stage. I even forgot that was there in the first place. He's yeah. just throwing out every single trick. Not easy to keep track of the C4 on a dark stage like this, to be honest. What? Fair bouncing fish. That is true. Going for the dare. Oh, you know he's going to take that free down air. The best part about hitting a dare like that is because even if it doesn't, like, kill or whatever, the Cypher hits cheap. 
Yeah. And she can just recover right back. Exactly. That's a good trade, man. That is a good trade indeed. Strong two stock on Boyd's counter pick of FD. One of the best things he, he even told me, he's like, hey, man, I said it already earlier, but so many people leave FD open against him, and it's one of Sheik and his personal like best stages. Yeah. So if you beat Boyd game one, I'm telling you on commentary right now, I'm giving away the secret, then FD. It is one thing if you know, though, I've said this several times online, so I'll say it again here offline. It is one thing if you know the character matchup, but do you know the player matchup? Yeah. Now AC has seen firsthand the player matchup. Avoid, don't take an MFD, man. Don't take, your, don't take your opponent to a stage they love and they favor. Nice choice of that down air, though. Oh, yeah, so, dude. It's so too, too good of a would, trade. Too good of a yeah, trade. And so many people will try to hit Snake in the Cypher, and they don't do a strong enough move to hit him out of the Cypher, so, like, they waste an attack, and then Snake it's back. Three, it's three things going from The Cypher can hit him back up. You hit Snake, and at worst, you have an extra stock. Yeah. Why not? Go? Why not? Why not? So good. Let's see. AC also has a really good Meta Knight, too. So I'm wondering if, like, we'll see some, like, right, yeah. some counter pick later in this set, depending on how this game goes. And, and definitely in order of characters he uses the most here is Snake, Meta Knight, and never forget Falco. Yeah, yes. the Falco might be coming back a little bit. Those Falco buffs are really exciting for me personally. Uh, I love watching Larry play Falco and AC in the past as well. The agenda is real. I'm telling you right now, man. Larry will uh, deny I did not it every say time. that. I did not say that. Larry will deny it every time. The agenda I, is real. All I right. know. I know Zinu like is still in the bracket. I think, but like, nah, bro. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, we're back on PS2. There is no BSR in SoCal stage list, so it's fine for AC to kick the stage back, even though he won. Great snake stage, by the way. Any like platform stage is great for snake because like he just has so many uh, projectile mixups he can do on the platforms. And it helps his landing as well, but not enough for that up smash. Damn, Void was ready. Oh, Void was ready in the end. The range. diamond cutter, as they call it. I I hadn't seen Void use that move a lot in this set, so I forgot how crazy it is. We haven't even seen all of Void's combos here. Void's just been sticking to his guns of what he knows what to do with Sheik. Yeah. It's interesting for sure. All right, down to here for that poke here. Ooh. Able to get towards a little bit center stage and Void narrowly missing Nice spacing that. from Void on the down tilt too. I think down tilt is a super great move. It not only like low profile chic, if they space far enough, it combos into a lot of moves. Like there, look, he parried the down tilt, still safe. Going for it again. All right, boys looking really good on this first stock. AC's really struggling to land here, and boys sharking him like a uh, shark. <laughs> I mean, the way the void is just on him, dude, he knows nice. I cannot give AC that time of the day. I cannot give him the space. I have to be making sure AC doesn't get a break, and he knows how he lost that game. He knows how to keep going up against AC here. It's up to AC though, 121. He knows he can make up that damage. He's got platforms to work with, and you can see that attempt here narrowly missing it. Void able to avoid that by holding shield. Down smash AC Big off the stage. Air. Big back air for the stock. He even positioned himself to get the sweet spot just so it would be strong enough to hit him out of the cypher. That is actually that's something that you would only know if you fought Snake a hundred times. <laughs> Hey, but that's how you learn, right? Sometimes to learn a matchup, you gotta do it a hundred times, and Void is that player who will definitely do that. Forward air, oh, comboing off his opponent's grenade into the bouncing fish. AC, going to retreat to the cypher. B reverse, gets a nice trade for himself. Nice B reverse and voice part two, though. Nope, he hasn't been able to get that drag down up smash just yet. And the tech chase is there for AC. Down throw, dash back, up tilt. It's never over for Snake in this situation. And what a good All catch from AC, too, because he saw that Void might have gone for that get up attack, just yeah. how much he had. Might oh. as well go back and punch him. What Hold up, that's 45. 45 from one exchange. We need to see more. Oh, Ooh. the up smash out of shield, though. That's another great knowledge check from Boyd. A lot of snakes love to do the down air out of shield because one of his best out of shield options, but it still puts yourself in the air. Exactly. And there's, and there's a gap of hitboxes, too, where you can stick in the up smash. And the best you thing you can do against it, too, angle your shield upwards, too. You do not want to get shield poked. Yeah. That was actually really good from Boyd. Mm -hmm. All right, we're kind of seeing a little bit of the adaptation from Boyd here. Uh, I wanted to see a different counter pick from AC personally. I think like PS2 might be a little bit too familiar for Void in this set right now. I think we might be seeing something like Town and City. We might be seeing Northern Cave. Northern Cave. Two good options there for 
We'll see, AC, though. AC, but we'll see. Maybe I mean, right back to PS2, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> it is a good snake this stage, but you know what? Sometimes you got to change it up, man. But you know what? Only AC knows what he's doing. He's yeah. here in top eight for a reason. This is what I missed about MSM. Always talking about the counter pick mid, like, commentary transition for them only to go back to PS2 every single time. <laughs> we literally call it Poke like Starter Stadium. It's literally what we call it this morning. All right, let's see though. AC, one more chance to bring this to game five. I would love to see what new tricks he pulls out to catch Void off guard, because I kind of feel like Void has a, at least a idea of his rhythm and setups that he's going for. Nice throw. Okay, there's his classic up smash setup. A lot of pressure on the shield. There's a C4 there as well. Ooh, the Vanish actually getting past the up smash. Okay. Nice, Needle Bouncy Fish. Almost like a mid-range confirm <laughs> that you have to worry about. And it's like, good too because it also covers that, that degree of angle that you have to really watch out against shooting. Yep, boy knows where the grenade is. Gonna throw right back at AC, continuing a pretty decent combo here. That's up the ledge. AC gonna retreat high yet again. Nice, boy, man. He really knows where Snake is gonna land a lot of times. But there's a trade for AC that he definitely does not mind. All right, higher recovery for AC. Yeah, trying Boyd, to get around. Boyd, Boyd might know where the C4 is yeah. as well. He's like staying right out of range of it on the platform. And you can still see it on that platform there. He knows where to not land. Good way to avoid it by going Ooh. for a jump. Poet Smash has the punish. Boyd with control here. Okay, yeah. Uh, AC's been using that Nikita landing pretty often. I think Boyd has a read on it now. And there's another forward smash. One of the best buffs she uh, got, by the way. Making that forward smash a little bit stronger and more consistent to she land. Needed, she needed a kill confirm. That's yeah. real. And Boyd, he knows about these Sheik kill confirms. I'm going to tell you that right now. All right, so AC down to his last stock potentially of this set. He needs to pull out all the stops. Boyd is uh, he's definitely turning it up for sure. Yeah, really good awareness of the grenades. Yeah, I see AC trying to slow it down with like a little bit more campy play, going in Boyd's face a little bit less. Fair bouncing fish though. It's tough though here, AC down a whole stock. He has a lot to do to make up for. He can do that. We've seen him demonstrate with 45% off the bat here. Okay. But Void is so smart. Look at him. He's keeping his distance, getting in with those safe forwarders here, getting in with needles. He keeps that always checked. Ooh, boy, with that slight shimmy, did you see? He hit the forward air, dashed back just a little bit to see if yeah. he 